Namaste, my name is Alay. My pronouns are he, him. I'm also known as trans yoga teacher. Welcome to this seated, gentle practice. We'll start with the sound of Om. Om represents the infinite. Everyone and everything around us, we're all connected through the sound of Om. chant the mantra for purification. It's passed down to me by the Dharma Yoga lineage. It's to purify the air, the ground, and the nadis, which are the psychic channels in the body. Om Ma Pavitra Ha Pavitra Va Sarva Vashtanga Topi Va Yaha Smarit Pandrikaksham Sabahya Vyantra Ha Start to roll your shoulders up, back, and down. If you've been sitting at a desk, working on your phone, doing social media, or binding, or recovering from top surgery, this might feel really good. <laughs> you might also be tight, it's okay. And then check in with your wrists. Notice how they're doing. I like to do these circles, semicircles. Just whatever like organic, natural movement feels good for you. Do that. And then bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Feel the left side of your neck opening. Roll the chin to chest and let your left ear drop to your left shoulder. Feel the right side of the neck and chest opening. Maybe you spin around right ear to right shoulder. Chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. You can do full or half circles. Whatever feels better in your body. You can do a couple more shoulder rolls. Everything I offer is an invitation. Listen to your body. You know best. Bring your left hand down to your... I'm, I'm sitting on a bolster, so if you're sitting on one, you might want to scoot up. Place your left hand down on the ground, reach your right arm up, bend to the left a little bit, keep your chest open. I didn't mention at the beginning, but it's nice to sit up on something to get your hips above your knees or at least about the same height. Then place your right hand down to the ground, reach your left arm up, bend to your right. Keep your chest open. And then left hand down to the ground, right arm up. Keep going, just like a little dance. And then bring both hands down and check in with your wrists, your shoulders again. We're going to do some seated cat cow. So first, um, open your chest really big. Your hands can be on your knees and then let your chest fall back. Moving the spine forward and back. This 
might feel really good, might feel a little weird. Whatever's coming up for you, just notice. It's okay. Whatever it is, it's okay. And conclude. I said we were gonna do seated poses, but let's come to all fours. If you have a bolster, move it out of the way. Hands and knees on the ground. If your knees are a little sensitive, I like to grab a prop for my knees. Oops. Place an extra little mat under my knees. And then you can try cat-cow here as well. If that felt good, you can stay there or you can come up into down dog if you like. Oh, it feels so good. Feel the chest opening. If you're stiff, you can pedal out the legs. I like to keep mine actually just in place and really let the calves and the shins open. And then come on down, rest. Find your breath. Close your eyes. a comfortable or a tolerable seated position. I know that not everyone can find a comfortable seated position. We will be here for not too long. Reach your right arm across your chest. Grab your left wrist outside your right elbow. These upper arm muscles are texting muscles. You might feel it. <laughs> and release. If you need to change positions like me, go for it. it. Doesn't matter how you sit. Anyway, it's fine. Left arm across your chest. Reach outside that elbow. Ooh. Anyone out there, uh, are you a social media warrior? <laughs> if so, you might feel it. <laughs> Stay with it. Now bring the soles of your feet together for butterfly pose. You can scoot your bum back. Really, let there be a lot of space between your heels and your groin. Sit up tall. Find your breath. Find your breath. This might be it for you. This might be enough. If you have blocks nearby, you can grab them. Place a block under each knee. Feel supportive. If it feels supportive, stick with it. Great. Bring your hands like this in Kali Mudra. Index finger, pointed fingers together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe bring your hands outside your toes. Not important. You can fold forward. For me, what's gonna feel most supportive in this moment, I'm gonna actually scoot my feet farther away. I have a block here for my forehead. Keep breathing here, stay with the pose. 
forward folds are great for going within. We literally take our attention within ourselves. And slowly come up, sit up. If you have any props in you, on you, move them out of the way, sit up tall. If you're lucky like me and you have a wall behind you, feel the wall supporting you. If you don't, imagine. Let's check in with our jaw. This is what I do. Watch me to relax my jaw. <laughs> you could probably hear it popping. It's pretty, pretty effective. So try it yourself. <laughs> it looks really funny, but it feels really good. <laughs> reset for the jaw. Maybe you cup your hands around your jaw and you say, hi jaw. I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Thank you. Relax your hands, close your eyes, sit tall. Check in with your shoulders. A couple shoulder rolls. We're gonna come to a seat or sitting. You can sit or lie down for Shavasana. So, if you're going into Shavasana, you might want to have lying down. You might want to have a bolster under your knees. You might want to have a bolster under your seat if you're sitting. If you want to take a forward fold, you can. Wide-legged might feel good. lying down on your back, you can do a twist on your back seated. I'll show you how to do it. Inhale, reach your right arm up, bring that arm behind you. You need a little room from the wall. And then your left hand comes outside the right knee. If you have a belly, you can bring it up over your thighs. back to center. Maybe you switch the cross of your legs. Not important. Inhale, reach the left arm up, right arm. Again, bring the belly over the thigh, right arm outside your left knee. If you're on your back, you're just throwing your legs from one side to the other. Lovely, come back to center. If you're lying down, relax. If you're sitting up, find a tall seated position. I recommend something under the bum. Sit tall and we'll just meditate for a moment, focusing on the breath.
notice your breath. How is it? Is it fast or slow? Deep or shallow? Just noticing. Continue resting here if it feels good and supportive. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Again, my name is Alay, and I'm also known as Trans Yoga Teacher Online. Thank you. Namaste.